Hello everybody, I am Lisbeth and welcome to episode 1 of my Astronaut Let's Play series. Don't worry, oxygen includes not going anywhere, um, but unfortunately due to just the nature of the game it's gotten very slow at this point. Um, and I need something to do occasionally on the side. Um, I have been playing Minecraft here and there, but uh, well, there's been a bunch of new updates for Astroneer since I last played, so how about... I mean, as you can see, it's been, you know, since the start of this year that I played. So let's start a new game. Now I did jump on and play in a new world for five minutes or so just to reorient myself with the controls. Honestly, I think this is my spawn in that other save that I have. Ooh, it's quite loud. There we go. We're out. Uh, can I? Now, whilst I'm here, I'd like to go quickly. Uh oh. Yep. That'll do, I think. There we go. That ought to help out. Okay. Let's see. What has changed? Yeah, this is definitely where I spawned, like, next to that mountain. Maybe a little bit further over this way. But my other save, this is exactly where I am. Alright, let's see what this- ooh! This is new. Alright. We land on the planet, we get an oxygenator and some, uh, a printer. Which cannot stand upright. Uh, now, what are these? Taking... Quests? So what, I tick that and they're active. Okay. And this one. Alright, well, let's start off with, uh, you know, the real obvious stuff. If we can plunk the printer down right there, I don't see why that won't work. Uh, nice. We've got some more stuff done. This is, um, much better for new players. When I started playing, it was... Oh boy. Alright. And we got some tethers. Very nice. I shift-click. Uh, just chuck stuff in your inventory. Breathing space. Connect a tether to the oxygenator. Well, if we go... which way do we want to go first? There's something cool over there that I haven't seen before, so let's head off in that direction. And you sort of get the hang of with tethers. There is a limit to how far they can reach. Um, whoops. See, that's broken. Now it doesn't connect. And I would love to know why there is an apple on that tether or is it a green pumpkin is this a halloween thing bet it's a halloween thing whoop too close not close enough all right let's uh i don't like those plants um so e opens the terrain tool uh now these little plants give me organic mass you can see it building up right there um, and this here is a research sample. Bounce vine. Well, let's pinch that for now and we can... Mm, yep, that's new. Let's just get rid of all of these. I would love to see what this thing is. Leisurely Cauldrangia. Unique plant species that convert certain ingredients into val uh, valuable biofuels. Producing squashaline. Wow, that's super new. I've not seen anything about that. All right, let's pick up some organic class on our way home. And that is a research item. We'll need that. Uh, let's just. There we go. Just drop that right there for now and have a look what we've done. All right, to get we get a canister. Very nice, and some bites. Let's grab our canister, and we're actually going to click Q to open the backpack, and then click on the gun to open that. Now if we pop the canister on there, now when I dig stuff up, I get to collect a little bit of soil. Uh, now see on my cursor there's now a little bit of a blue uh, bump there? That means that I have soil available in my canister. So that's pretty cool. And I'll have to keep my eye on my oxygen, uh, you can see, 
This bar up here is my oxygen amount, and this is my power. Oh. Nah, I'm not having a shower. Alright. Alright, whilst we're here, let's come over here and grab, that is a wind turbine, I'll pinch that, that's actually two wind turbines. Um, so there's like all these little things hanging out and about, most of it is debris, see, um, shredders is what we want. Um, we'll, I can scrap this stuff later uh, and use it to barter essentially. Um, now let's actually put that right there. And this can go down like that for now. Is there another slot around the side of the house? Oh no, that's the um, that's the RTG that comes with the base. That's okay. We'll come back to that later. That is a thing that I can build later in the game. Um, but I don't get to use it yet. It needs a lot of research, is what it needs. All right. Oh, there we go. That's some resin. Um, but I believe. Hang on. Let's come back over here, see what we need to do next. Uh, so we need to go look at a gateway chamber. Now, I know there's one off in that direction. As I said, I know this spawn. I can't zoom out any further. And I know there's one just off over that way. Um, we'll go looking for the one over here in a minute. What the Oh, the seed exploded. I was not expecting that. Ah, now see these wind turbines are blowing in the breeze. Alright, let's see what quests we have. Just... Let's just stay focused. Um, four compound and four resin. And we need to fill a small canister with soil. Alright, well let's get gathering. There's resin C, even though I can't see any resin on the surface. Um, that changed to organic because there's some organic right there. But under here is resin. And it may be a little ways underground, but let's just keep digging. Aha! Now resin and compound uh, two things that are found on every single planet. Um, there are more planets. I wonder if I can see one yet. Um, they come into view occasionally. There's the, aha, see up there. Right there. That's another planet, although that may be the moon. Who knows? Um, but there are other planets. Alright, resin. Um, so resin, organic, uh, quartz compound, graphite, and organic, I think, are all found on every single planet. So you can't actually get stuck anywhere. Um, you are always able to get home. So we've got our four resin for now. Let's go find some compound. Can we see any straight off the bat? No. All right, well, let's head off towards this forest over here. Um, it's all over the place, so we shouldn't be too concerned. I'm going to press E to put... Actually, hang on. We've got... How far away can I reach that from? There. Uh-oh. There we go. Uh, let's pick that one up. And... Unlock, print, and attach boost and drill mod. Alright, we'll come back to that in a second. For now... Uh, and researching those things, especially on other planets when you go underground, I've found is a really good way of getting bites for researching stuff. Okay, so we've got our backpack here, obviously. And let's actually come back here for a second, because I need to drop some stuff off. Um, because my backpack's a little bit full, as we saw. So let's pop that there, uh, and then just drop a bunch of stuff on the ground. Um, now, it used to be an issue that stuff would blow away. Ooh, that's important. See that sparkly column right there? We'll come back to that. Uh, we'll keep the resin on us for now. Um, but yeah, stuff used to blow away on you. Um, I don't think it does anymore. But there are windier planets, so it is something to keep an eye on. Okay, we've run out of tethers. So I actually need to go find... Is that clay? That is some clay. We'll come back to it. Um, I need compound, not, yes, compound, uh, to make more tethers, so hopefully we'll find some, there's another research item, uh, there's some over there, you can see it right there, alright, let's see what we've got, that's a battery pack, no oxygen pack, right, nothing worthwhile, 
one and two and let's run back for our oxygen so that's clay that's also found on every single planet i believe now how are we doing we're gonna make it we'll be fine um it's very hard to die in this game like you have to try or fall down a very big hole which i have definitely done before with a jetpack on um yeah all right let's come over here and grab this compound as well as these three little research nuggies every little bit counts especially early game all right see it looks different as well um now we can make some tethers two let's see if we can't knock this quest out that's three and we're at half tank oxygen four nice let's head back uh oh i might die that would be no good it's all right we're still pretty close to our base <laughs> uh just a bit greedy it's all right we know exactly where we are Oh, that's a much longer um, post running out of oxygen time. It used to only be like five or ten seconds. But that felt much longer. All right, and we just respawn. There's no penalty. You just lose your body um, and everything you had on you. But you can go back and get it. Um, the first time you die, your backpack will be here. But if you die again after that, and you can just shift click everything on nope pinch that 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 and that and let's put a tether right there no how far there there we go so no issues whatsoever and we're just gonna pick that last tether up remember shift click to just chuck it back in your backpack all right let's see what we do next because I think this is going to direct us to set up a nice little base. Um, we get resourcing. Yes. All right. Large platform. Okay. So we need to print a larger printer. So we've got our small printer here. That's a medium storage, which will be useful. Actually, we're going to expand that right now. And we're going to fill it up with organic. Uh, now, as I'm sure you noticed when we were in this thing here, um, retooling, unlock, print, and attach boost mod to terrain tool. So these slots here are upgrades for your terrain tool. For example, you can have soil canisters, although those apply, if you have them in your inventory, they work. Um, then... You've got like drilling attachments and other sorts of things. I'm going to make another set of those. Uh, now we want to make, oops, let's not drop it yet. Uh, examine this. We need a medium printer so we can print one of them. And I'm going to expand these two here for now. Now it used to be the case that the you would have original items and you could not uh, scrap them later on so let's just connect all this up to each other like so um, we'll pop that one there and this one over here and now we get to unpack it that should be that quest finished nice and we get a large platform b and the schematic for it too which is very nice uh this is like the best early game platform it's even one of the better late game platforms in my opinion um and you'll see why in a little bit as soon as we've got whoops um your you know as soon as we get smelting going on and canisters um so pressing the letter c rotates your thing counterclockwise and v rotates it clockwise oh am i gonna plop it right there for now we're just gonna stick 
that on there. Um, but let's see what we're up to next. And we can pop this here. Also, different things have different sizes. Um, this is a size 1 unit because it uses a single dot. This is a size 2. Um, and it takes up two slots. This is also a size 2, and it takes up two slots. But it's convertible, um, which is pretty cool. This is also size 2, and then that altogether is size 3, and of course there's size 4, which is two of them sat together. Um, but for now, let's see what we should be doing next. Alright. Retooling. Unlock and print a smelting furnace and refine aluminium. And we want to print, print a small generator and print and use a research chamber. So all pretty standard stuff. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, so if we open up the backpack with Q, we can also press tab to open up this. Now, uh, let's have a quick look through here. I think these are all level one prints. So same as these like items have different levels printables have different levels and the small printer is the printer oops is this printer here sitting at the bottom that is our small printer um then we have our uh, well small printer <laughs> um our actual small printer then there's the medium printer large printer extra large printer um whoops all right let's open this back up so these are all things i can print in the backpack uh these are all things that i print in the small printer and we needed to print uh let's see if i can find it these are all power items that's a medium generator so actually what we want to do is unlock the small generator let's see if we can find it A work light would be really helpful. We need copper for that. We'll go and get some in just a second. And floodlights are pretty cool too. Oh, and we have one already. Okay. So we're going to need a compound, which I have. Uh, let me out. That's how you save, by the way. Go into your shelter. Or you can just save and quit. But we're not going to bother about that. Uh, right. Oxygen filters, no. Small canister, no. Small generator. Beacon, no. Work light, no. Small printer. Uh, no, it definitely, whoops, is in here. Uh, we've got a medium printer now. We want... I thought we had it unlocked already. Small generator. Oh, it is in the small printer. I went straight past it. We need a compound, which I don't have one of. So let's go find some more. Of course, I turned it all into... Oh, and these things will grow back the research if you leave them. That's why I try to leave them alone. Um, so we're out on a mission for two things. One is more compound. And the other is that copper over there. Uh, that malachite. Um, but we will need a furnace to use it. All right. Whoops. Uh, there are emotes, but we won't talk about them yet. Ah, oh, man. All right. Uh, shift to run, of course. Uh, and that can be a toggle or a... Uh hold you know press and hold all right where are we going all the way down in here um now we've only been digging so far but as you saw we have a soil canister which means that we store soil which also means that we can build again with that soil um So let's just take a second to get a bunch of this compound because we're going to need a lot of this stuff. And we're not quite at the level yet where we can farm it in large quantities. How much do I have? I can take one more. That's it. Nice. Go team. We're going to leave these tethers out here, by the way. Um, now, actually, I probably shouldn't have grabbed so much, but 
I'm unstoppable. What is that? That's a wild, sturdy squash. Oh. Interesting. Uh, but we want this stuff. There is more. Yes. Let's just back up out of the way a little. Where is it? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna have to go back and set out a tether line, I suppose. I genuinely need just one of these. Um, we will have the capacity to get more in the future, but it's a relatively uncommon resource. Alright, is there any more in here? Aha, right here. There it is. Oop. You can sometimes get little bits of soil stuck in there. There we go, malachite. And everything makes a different bing. But we're just going to pick that up for now. Now, what does that want? Not resin and not compound. What's that? Quartz? Aluminium. Unrefined aluminium. Alright, let's head home. Oops. No. Gimme. I just want to scan these two. Alright. Uh, now, you run slower when you're holding something, so it's actually, you can get a bit of a rhythm going where you pick something up, run, and then drop it. Alright, now let's make our small generator to satisfy the quest. Um, we will also need, alright, now that we've done that... Uh, and connect it to the network. Nice. Now this takes organic. Uh, and these are all the natural resources that you can find. Um, there's ammonium that's found on every planet. Astronium is useless last time I played. I don't know if that's changed. But this does show you where you can find everything. Um, and you can see, you know, these things are found on every planet. Um, and then it tells you what is found where in which planets. Um, and then you can refine a, bun uh, refine a bunch of the other resources. Uh, but I suppose we'll get back to that. Powerful problems, let's collect that. We get a small battery and the plan for it. Oh, they have their own little thing now. You used to have to, um, and we're actually going to take that with us because a battery is handy. Um, that does mean we don't need this anymore. And we're going to pop this up here. I just would like to sort my inventory out. Uh, now, we need to refine this. So what I would like us to do is find, say... Oh, we haven't done it yet. Okay. Let's find the furnace. Paver? No. Where is it? Auto arm. Is it in the large printer? There it is. Okay, so that's it there. Two, one compound, two resin. Okay, that's what we want. So now we're going to go find the smelting furnace. Alright, let's print one of them. Because we really need it. Nice. Very nice. Uh, now, we are going to go off on an adventure in a little bit, so what I'll actually need to do is print a bunch of tethers, and I need to pr print a extra oxygen tank. Um, and we're also going to have this malachite ready to go on... Let's pop a bunch of this stuff down. We'll take one extra bit of compound with us. Gonna take that. That'll be printed in a second. Let's see what we need to get done. Battery backup. Fully charged battery. We get a splitter and extenders. Now I've never used like all this automation stuff like the splitter and whatnot. 
Um, I don't know if it actually really has any utility because quite often, like, there's no limit to how much power these can transfer, right? Uh, let's turn that on. So, like, they're kind of useless. Alright, let's see what else we need to do. Refine aluminium, that's fine. Gather three lithium. So we've got to go to Vesania or Novus. Now, Vesania is the moon. But we're going to print a research chamber whilst we're at it. Uh, now, where is my bit of copper? We need... A work light. Handy when we're down in the caves. Um, and I will pop it up here. Work light goes up there. Tethers, I can't combine them like that, that's fine. Alright, is that everything we need? Um, is there, there is a hotkey to turn this off, right? Yeah, F. Can I hover over it and press F? Surely there's a hotkey. Um, how do I open up that Astropedia? Is that it? Yes. Alright. Zoom. Yep, this is all fine. Quick stow. Action wheel is fine. I wonder if... No, it doesn't. But we do have a compass. This is very new to me. Um, now, see that purple thing? Alright, let's go find out what this orange thing is, whether it's just this over here. Yes, it is. That's nice to know. Alright, let's do the researching lab. Get this going so we can leave it running. And then we will... We're going to dump that right there. And... Smelting furnace research chamber. One resin and two compound. Well, there's an extra compound. There's the resin. Let's print that. And... Oh wait, maybe that purple thing is the... this. Maybe not. Um, now there is some graphite up here as well, which isn't so useful. Now see how this uh, soil here has like odd textures? That's because it's stone, and you'll notice I'm slower digging it up. Um, because it's stone. You know? Oh, also you can like slide down hills and stuff. You do take fall damage, just as a heads up. One of them, one of them. Alright, and this is just about done. Very nice. I would just like to get something researching before we go. Um, let's bring this over here. Uh, that can go on there. Nice. And we can get that researching. Uh, now, one of the achievements for the game is to... Um, research something in someone else's game. And the... To do that, you actually have to press the start button, this start button on the, the thing. Like, because you can leave this running and just plop new research bits in. Alright, we get two beacons and 250 bytes. Very nice. Gain more bytes, 2000. And find and use research samples. Alright, well, let's head off this way. We're going to go for a trek. Uh oh. Um, and we won't take those beacons with us, they just take up space. Um, they do have use later on, but for now, I don't really need them. Alright. Uh, not close enough. Uh, now let's turn that compass back off. That's just the research catalogue and our mission log, which... Uh, don't help us out right now. Oh, I can just tap R to do the same thing. Okay. Let me... Uh-oh. Nice. Whoop. 
Um, anyway, so my goal, basically, with this series is to just, you know, do all the... do all the achievements, because there's a few that I haven't done. Um, but we're just going to have some fun, you know? Hey, look, that's what we're looking for. So I would say that... Once we get over the hill. Ah, now see how this one here is different? That gave us 49, where the planty ones only give us like 20. So they aren't all equal. Um, I need to go back. There was a little bit of compound back here. We need some more. See, you're going to need compound in astounding quantities. Yeah, there's some just back over here. Nice. And of course, um, travel does get quicker the further you get into the game. You unlock vehicles and all sorts. Alright, that's enough for me. Small battery extenders, small printer, no tethers is what we want. Man, I remember back when um, oxygen wasn't even a given for this. Um, you'd have to collect, like, oh, sorry, you could get it from your base, I think, but you could also find, like, one of the ore types was just oxygen. And we're gonna print that as well. We'll try and take a couple of these home with us. And can I say, uh, that compass is unbelievably good. Like, it's been desperately needed for a long time. Oop. Nice. Alright. I've lost the knack for it. Alright, we're just about there. Sorry, I just want some of these juicy, juicy bits and pieces. Uh oh. These are hazards. Sometimes they do have research bits underneath them. Alright. Yeah, look at that chasm. Alright. Ah, now. We have reached... An abyss. Let's just dig down a little bit here to flatten some terrain out. Alright, so left mouse click digs, right? Hey, look at that. We've done the we've done the thing. Um so left mouse click digs. Right mouse click moves the camera. You gotta click and hold. Uh Scroll wheel zooms in and out, and nothing is bound to mouse three. Um, now, if I want to add, uh, that flattens, if I want to add soil, see how the arrow changed to up? I'm pressing left alt there with my thumb, and now we can build some soil up. Uh, if I want to flatten, I press left control, and it picks whatever, what are they called, voxels? Whatever plane um, your mouse cursor is sitting over and it builds to that plane even if it's out over a chasm. So you can sort of use this to find the right angle to take you out across an abyss. Um, I'm actually going to try that one. Let's try that one there. Um, now this also works with digging but we'll get to that in a second. Let's just get ourselves some oxygen back. Now these things here, I've run out of tethers, that's fine. Let's just get ourselves a bit of a better bridge. Down to there. Not attractive, but it works. Uh, these things are, well, they're gateways, aren't they? We have to clear a bit of rock out here. Let's come back to that. Um, 
but they're a pretty important, like, goal in the game. Alright. Anything here that might help us out? No. Let's head home. <gasps> Full damage. Ah. Let's, uh... Let's just get a nice looking polygon. That's the word I was looking for. There we go. Just make ourselves a better way over the hill. Um, and we're just going to head home. Nice. That was the whole thing. Uh, let's quickly check. Wrong one. Mission log. Oh, we can receive that one. Very nice. Now, what was the new one we got? Activate the gateway chamber. Yeah, so that's something we've got to do. And that looks like an important... See, it's got a little thing. Uh, well, let's try and do that one on the way back home. That get 10 samples. Do we see any in the mountain? Oh, let's go see what's in here really quick. Is there anything good here? Oh, someone's backpack. We get a research sample and some tethers. Now this research sample is not like the other research samples. You know, it's not like the other girls. Um, that research sample, well let's have a quick look at it in a second, hang on. Here we go, we're back on the juice. Research sample. 239. Um, you can find ones of them in those little capsules. We saw one on the other side of the mountain. If we pass one, I'll point it out. Um, I've had some worth like 500, 600 plus. So, they're definitely not worth skipping. Huh, that's pretty cool. Alright. Let's get going. Avoid the pit. There's a lot more compound hidden up in there. Forests are a great place to get research samples, by the way. I should duck in here and see if I can find one. There's a little one. But I want a bigger one. That's the 10. Ooh! A crash satellite. These are also really great. Oh, that's some dynamite. Uh, not actually useful, per se. But still fun. Okay, just let me... Uh, copper's useful, graphite's useful now. Ammonium is useful. And of course the two dynamite. Let's just get back on the line and then we'll grab a research sample. Aha, there's that rocky one up there. There's that one there as well. It's been so long since I've played, it's just, um, wrong, it's fat fingering it left and right. Let's grab that. Now, remember we can't run very fast with this thing. We also can't zoom out as much as we used to. Might have to fiddle with the camera controls, I think. Alright, let's get a second research bit in there and get it going. And let's see what we need to do next. Ooh, yeah, no, those are our beacons, never mind. Nice, we get three lots of tethers. Very good. Master of Unboxing. Unlock an Exo Research Aid Suit. And we get a buggy for it. That's worth it. Um, and we need 2,000 bytes, so we're going to get there pretty quickly with that. And we should go down into the caves and see if we can't... Um, find some aluminium as well. So let's, is that a cave entrance right there? I think it is. Um, now, obviously, you don't need to find a cave entrance to, uh, sorry, yeah, a cave entrance to get into the caves. Let's just swap those out. Um, but it definitely helps. All right, let's... Pop that on there, because it can, and we'll just pop a bunch of these down as well. And that one can go there. That's everything we need. Very nice. 
How are we doing on bites? Well, that's just how many it's got left. 1900. Alright. Let's head down into this cave and see if we can't find ourselves some aluminium. Oh, excellent. And it faces the right way. Alright. Once I get all the tethers down, by the way, this will be a much more enjoyable process coming down here. These are an old hazard. They also drop research samples sometimes, but let's just let's just find ourselves the floor of the cave and ah oh, no 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 <laughs> fall damage. <sighs> the controls are a bit goofy sometimes, especially if you're not good on a keyboard. All right, let me out. Hey, we got this one though. Uh, let's quickly take that, I suppose. Oxygen tank, power cells, glow sticks, and dynamite. All right, well, that'll be a next episode thing, I think. We're going to recover our body down here and see if we can't clean up our base a tiny little bit. Well, we certainly found our way into the... Oh, I can't flatten. You can't flatten without a soil canister. Alright, let's just try and... Um, you know what? That's quite a drop, isn't it? Oh boy. Let's just come back up here for a sec. Hang on. Alright, how are we going to do this? We're going to come down the side this way. You can sort of find yourself a nice little foothold. Alright, let's just go back up for oxygen. Yep, there we go, we're up nearly. There we go. Nice. This is why you need work lights, by the way. Notice how dark it is. Alright. Alright. Let's get ourselves back out of here. Um, and we'll get our... That's better. Now we can see what's going on. Yeah, definitely worth getting a work light. Now I think there is a... Let's go back to the Astropedia. I've forgotten how to turn the flashlight off. Um, F, no. C and V, no. That didn't sound very good. What was that noise? Well, who knows. Now let's find a good angle. That's fine. We can walk up that. We're just going to build ourselves a nice little... Uh, now we get to find a nice little... Uh, we're going to actually bring this up a little to here. And make a nice little landing because we've got to turn and uh, now you've got to very carefully get your cursor on that build a new ramp down here there we go and we're in the caves look at that and that might just be yep a bit of aluminium over there that blue stuff all right, let's build our tethers down here. Um, and it might be better to put this one here. All 
Alright. Let's scan some stuff. That's connected, nice. Alright, this is some aluminium. Now, I don't think those objects falling can hurt you, but um, it's not something I want to risk. But I will want a little bit of aluminium. It is quite useful. Um, and if I can, whilst we're down here, I'd like to get us some quartz. Nope. Um... You can very easily get lost in the caves, by the way. And you reckon this planet's bad? Oh boy. Or if you think this cave is bad. Aha, now these ones will be worth a bit more. 61 bytes. Um... Uh, opened with explosives, that's new. Well, let us... Ready? Fire in the hole! Hey, that's super cool! Exochip. And those are debris. Okay, we can leave those. Alright, we have two exochips. Now all we need is some quartz, and we're good to go. Let's just clean up these rascals. Research those. Still no quartz? That's odd. Usually it's... You can't stop finding it. Uh, the caves go down here. You can see there's some more aluminium down there. But we'll be back for that, I think. Uh, now, we've run out of tethers. So I'm going to do a quick scout around here. But there is nothing of use. Alright, on the way out, we're going to see if we can't find ourselves some quartz, but um, my hopes are not high. Um, we need quartz for glass, obviously. We'll take that one tether there. Um, worst comes to worst, we'll just fill up on laterite and leave, hey? What's off in this direction? I try not to... Ooh, that's useful. Uh, yes. We'll grab just a little bit of that. And what we'll do before I leave is we'll go and check out that one. I think this is zinc. Sphalerite. I think that is zinc. Alright, let's get going. Hey? Uh, that wants power. I don't have a generator on me, um, but we'll come back for that. So let's just go check out that one on the surface. And um, that might call it for today, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. Wow. It is a very pretty game. I must say, this thing over here. Um, let's run over there now. Because we'll just swap one of our laterite uh, for uh, whatever's in here. Okay, so we come around here and we're going to find a little port. And we're going to want to match. See how the laterite has this symbol that matches this? So it eats that. And then we get a really good bit of um, technology to scan. All right, home time. And that's finished researching, which is good to see. All right, now we're back home. Now we could put this over here in this, but for now it's just a cool looking research sample. And we can just press and hold, 500. Um, yeah, so not to be trifled with. Um, let's swap our, actually, I wanna make another one of these a couple of those medium storages 
So let's see what res uh, what missions we've got. Exo research aid unit. So that's what that tri triangle thing over there was. So that's what we get the buggy for. Nice. Uh, we should also be able to find a chair sitting around somewhere. What's this over here? Let's just go have a quick look and... It's not, but there is some dynamite. Well, now that dynamite actually has a use aside from just making big holes and crashing the game, um, perhaps it will be something that I'll be constructing. All right. Uh, now we do need a seat for the buggy, but we can put the work light. No, we can't, but that's okay. We will put some tethers on it, is what we'll do. Because we're going to be taking this baby with us. Uh, now, it cannot... It provides oxygen, which is really good. Um, does it need power? Internal battery. Okay, so we'll have to figure something out with that. Uh, now, I was going to have a check out of what we... Do we have no active? No, we do. We can hide all those, though. We want to refine some aluminium. So what I actually want to do first is print more medium storages. We need more resin. So let's just dig some up from over here. We're going to flatten this soil out later, so don't worry about the great big pit right by the base. I'm going to put a lid on it. Um, now, there's no, like, hostile creatures, I'll say. Um, the plants are hostile, so nothing is going to come out and get me. Um, I've just got to find stuff that's going to kill me, you know. Let's start printing. Now, this can take stuff from the platform it's on and your backpack. That's why I can print it, um, because the thing was in my backpack. Uh, now, I'm going to show you what we can do with the uh, furnace in just a second. Let's pop that right there. We're going to move that there. This one will go here. This one will go here. That'll go there. That can just chill. Um, you can also research like items, but I don't want to. What I want to do is take all of this off here because the organic will get turned into yep yep will get turned into something uh really what we want to do is put the ladder right on here and it will automatically move stuff around for us which is great um there's also that sphalerite the organic can go down there organic turns into carbon obviously And that'll automatically get put over to one side. So you can get these canisters which hold only one item and automate the production of things. All right, let's uh, let's have a quick look once more at our oxygen tank power cells. Okay, let's let's unlock these things. Oxygen tank. That's that one. Needs two thousand bytes. But we get... Is that a backpack RTG? Um, let's do the oxygen tank because it's very, very useful. We definitely want that. Uh, we want power cells. We want glow sticks. That's only 350 bytes. Um, those are power cells. And dynamite. That's the dynamite there. We need 3,750. Okay, so that'll be a, a little bit. But that's pretty cool. Now, I don't know what these exochips do, so we're just going to leave them. Uh, we're going to put this printer back up here for a second, because I need another medium storage. Just to hold some stuff, you know. Um, medium storages are really great because they're cheap and they you know they take up two slots and not much else 
really beeps them for storage space, I guess. Like, they're convenient and they fit on everything. I don't know, maybe they've got something now that's better, but as far as like basic storage goes, that's four, I think, so that'll give us another two. We're also gonna research as much as we can whilst we're at it. Nice, let's see if we can't. Let's just print that. Those things will print anywhere, by the way. That one can go there, and that there. I don't know, we'll just drop it for now. Let's see. Now, we will need some power sorted out pretty soon. That's going to give us another medium storage. Things you love to see. Um, alright. Uh, so let's pick up all this stuff again. Or not. Um, because that'll just tidy it up. There we go. Um, there used to be a very reliable, repeatable bug where you could just, um, make things really big. Like, physically. Give me my... storage. Uh, and we're gonna put that on there, and that on there, that one on there, that's all full, very nice. Where'd that other one go? I just had a box. There it is. And we're gonna fill this one up. The other nice thing is that you can just put things everywhere. It doesn't matter where it goes. Who cares? Oh, you're gonna put it upside down on the ceiling? Go for it, buddy. More power to ya. Alright, that's a bunch of stuff. We're gonna put that resin right there. We're actually not gonna print another storage. We're going to uh, call it quits. Absolutely. Goodness me, I've been talking to myself for an hour. Um, well, I hope you found that fun. This is just going to be chill and boop about in space. Let's talk real quick about the emotes. Uh, it's under R? No. T? No. E? No. Y? No. G. There they are. I can dance. But not in real life. I'm not the best dancer. Um, what else have we got? That's yes, that's no. Oh! It's the chicken dance! <laughs> that's pretty cute. Um, oh gosh, that's a Fortnite dance, isn't it? I didn't play Fortnite at all. I'm not big into first person shooters, I think is what it comes down to. Alright. Well, let's quickly uh, cover this. Actually, let's expand our flat space. I like to grab the flatness around the base here and then expand. Like that. Now, it doesn't particularly work, uh, like, at a long distance. Um, like, we're already getting to the point where the curve of the planet does not match, you know. Because obviously the planet's not huge. Um, but we will get a tool that will help us with that in the future. It's just nice to have some flat space, you know. Alright. Well, thank you everyone for being here, and um, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Oh no. Bye.